Kia ora tato. welcome back to the Wargaming Den. Just another little game of rapid fire. Um, I've finished pretty close to a regiment of Japanese, so I wanted to try them out with a slightly larger battle. We're going to have two battalions of Japanese, an understrength regiment, against a battalion of British today, just in a, in a battle taking place somewhere in Burma. And I have a very brief background or context for this battle. Again, somewhere in Burma in 1944, just a Japanese regiment trying to force a crossing across one of the many rivers in Burma. And they are being opposed by a battalion of British infantry. And a pretty typical rapid fire um, British Battalion. I've got four companies of infantry. I've got an HQ um, and I've included a two inch mortar there. Um, and they're being supported by a medium machine gun and two 25 pounders that are off board. And pretty close to full strength for my two Japanese rifle battalions. Um, each of them like the British ones, we've got four companies. They've got a support company with a single medium machine gun, and they've got a um, gun company with a 70 millimeter infantry gun. Also got two knee mortars in the um, HQ. And yeah, that is the Japanese force. So two battalions of those. So the Japanese force is quite a bit larger than the British force, but the British start dug in. They've got some off board artillery and more and a medium machine gun so hoping that it won't be too unbalanced but we will see as the game progresses let's have a look at deployment for this one hopefully um typical burmese terrain um some heavily forested jungly areas um some rice paddies and a um a bit of a, a village on a um a hill overlooking two crossings of this river so one british uh, one one japanese battalion will be advancing down each of these roads british have deployed with um, their four infantry companies mainly on the higher ground third company is down near this ford medium machine gun and behind and mortar and i also gave them a an aa gun um, to add a wee bit of support and they've also got their off Board artillery and the battalion HQ can act as spotters for those. Okay, turn one. Um, Japanese have moved on to the table. The three inch mortar and also the um, off board 25 pounder artillery hit the front. Company of Japanese caused four wounds, four casualties, and over here against this unit, the um, Bolifer's gun, two hits, not enough to cause a casualty or to knock out the medium machine gun. So on to turn two Japanese. Turn two, Japanese advance continues. First battalion over the here, took a couple of losses from the buffer's gun and a two inch mortar. And on the other side, the second battalion, that front company was destroyed by a combination fire from the medium machine gun, the three inch mortar, and I think the artillery, off board artillery failed to range in. So there we go, turn two, Japanese advancing to the river, taking some casualties on the way in. End of turn three, not a great deal of action this turn. The British artillery did a couple of hits on the Japanese um, 70 mil gun, no casualties. Not a lot of action over that side. The Japanese, they put a hit on the buffer's gun and also put a hit on the medium machine gun, but not enough to cause casualties again. So 
on to turn number four for the Japanese. Right, turn four. The Japanese managed to knock out the British medium machine gun position and they also knocked out the Boffer's gun. They've made it across the river. The front company took two hits though from the infantry that's dug in on the hill there. And on the other flank, the other battalion, they took seven hits from the combination of rifle fire from the two companies on the hill there and also from the mortar. So um, some losses to the Japanese, but they are making ground over the river as we turn on to turn five. Okay, here we go, turn five. Japanese storming up the hill. Um, did seven casualties on the company up there, killing six. And over here, um, three casualties caused on the company defending the ford. And again, Japanese are advancing. In oh, and that company up there also took three. And in response, Japanese took three wounds, which destroys that company. One casualty there that doesn't count. And they took three as they storm up the hill. So Japanese making progress as we move on to turn number six. Lots of action on turn six. Japanese assaulted the company that was dug in there. They won by one. The infantry retreated. Over here, they took a, a single casualty, as did the unit over there. And then in response, Japanese have taken some small arms fire over here. About to assault. And this company here got hit by the offboard 25 pounders and also um, lots of casualties caused by this company so not all going the Japanese way but we are moving on to turn seven right more action on turn seven this British company saw off um, the attempted assault there by Japanese didn't do any wounds though that caused one casualty over here though the Japanese drove the British out of their dug-in positions and the British retreated back into the rice paddy over there the three minutes of that company in the soft cover were destroyed by the Japanese in response so the 25 pounders off board hit that Japanese um, company over there for Losses, so they're about to be removed. Well, I think they did three in the infantry here. Did an extra one. So, Japanese is storming up over the hill, but it's not all over yet. Okay, that was a decisive turn. British drove off the Japanese from both close assaults that took place. Um, and Japanese swarmed up over that hill. Some casualties caused to the, the British, but not many. But these two Japanese companies took between them um, eight losses, and that put the Japanese battalion on a morale check. Okay, so the second battalion on this side failed their morale check and um, routed off the table, which triggered a morale check for the remaining battalion as the entire force had taken over half casualties not sure if that's an official rule or not and they rolled a one so they also retreat so despite being outnumbered the British have held the river well done and there we have it victory to the British very close fought game though um, really enjoyed it again Rapid fire really cracks along and the game is very intuitive and it feels right to me. I've, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying 
giving it a go and I'm hoping next week is Anzac Day on Thursday and I'm hoping to have a game against an actual opponent probably refighting something similar to this battle I really enjoyed that and like to give it a go against an actual opponent so stay tuned I'll see if I can get a battle report sorted out for that one but that's all for today thanks for watching everybody have a good day Ka kite anō.